Is it coming? Is it coming? There's stuff in life that kind of bothers them and they don't want to talk about it. Sometimes they do, but generally they don't. And it's given them a chance to kind of get it out there. It's a fairly, fairly safe environment for it. And it just allows them to kind of articulate it without having to even say it sometimes. Because they can channel it into the, the activity they're doing or the, what the art they're creating. Sean was telling us to close our eyes and visualise yeah. what we were feeling. I was just thinking if we had, and this is just a suggestion now, if we had the music to go with our feelings, we could, how that could help us with, you know, making a movie out of the feelings that we felt. Just kind of encourage that and nurture it, be able to do it in a really, in a way that's not kind of taking over, I suppose. 
particular on this one, the productivity out of them was unbelievable, I thought. You know, there's a, in the early days when we, were, when we were meeting up, you know, there were a lot of people were kind of, what is this? And now, but word is out, people know what's, what it is. And it was fun. People were itching to, oh, God, this great idea for a story. Let's do this. I think it was kind of the last when he played, we all got the kind of whole apocalypse because it started off calm and then it got very hectic, then going back to that calmness, but it was like a different calmness. So that's where we kind of also developed our idea for the They're going to make things. They're going to come up with ideas. I, don't, I just need to give them a match, basically, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's like this... Like, communal trust that everything's going to work out fine. Everything's fine, the apocalypse and afterwards, it is like us, uh, as Lisa said yesterday, yeah. going through cancer. So it's like, you know, that normal, that beginning, nothing's wrong, and then the apocalypse, apocalypse comes in, and that's like, you know, being told you have cancer, you have to go through treatment and all. And then it's like, when you get off your treatment at the end, it's like that new beginning, that new normal, where it's like, it is, you can do all those things you could do before treatment again but you have like a different mindset basically to everything you do in life, you know? Nothing's the same, yet it is. People who were into it naturally gravitated to what they wanted to do. You know, there was those people who were like, they're, they're really into doing their art. There was, in particular, the lads like the whole movie production side of it, you know, straight away. And I'd be, other than the fact I'm into music, I'm total geek, I've totally gone towards the video stuff. But those who were into music really wanted to do it. And there was also the freedom that, well, you don't just have to do this. You can float around all of them if you want, you know, which was great as well. In hierarchical terms, they're above us. Yeah. But we've placed them in that position and we're trying to help them realise their vision. Or if they have, start to have ideas, we try to help funnel that towards, toward the product. to kind of write a song for all the calmness and it was then we did like a different version of that song kind of for the you know the rebirth of the world after this apocalypse